Okay, so you are a college student and you wish to purchase a laptop for programming or you want a laptop for gaming or for video editing or you want it just for the sake of content consumption like watching Netflix, Amazon Prime and YouTube. So, we will be comparing all the major operating systems for your new laptop, college bro. And at the end of this video, I have also added a list of the best laptops for you as a college student between 30,000 to 1 lakh rupees with some discounts that you can get on your new purchase. And I have been playing with laptops and computers for about 4 years now and I have tried these machines in many different domains be it gaming, video editing, coding, some normal usage and content creation as well. And I have made this video keeping in mind that you may be watching this video in future and thus you yourself should be capable to pick any new laptop that arrives in the market at that time. Okay, so let's begin but before we head over to the list of laptops and the discounts that you can get, first of all let's discuss some basic things which you should definitely consider while putting your money into a machine which you will be using for your coming 4 years in college. Anyways. Let's begin. First of all, let's discuss your operating system. A quick description of all. Firstly, Windows. There is a reason why Windows is called the gamer's paradise. And if you are choosing a laptop specifically for gaming, then the only option you have is Windows. You'll find a ton of choices in laptops in this operating system. And most importantly, there is a huge possibility that most people around you, even your professors will be using this operating system. And if you are one of those people who does not like to pay for any app and you are sure that you will be downloading some <coughs> cracked software then go for windows <laughs> but there are some cons as well if you want a really lightweight and stable os which is secure as well windows is simply not the right choice for you like i noticed a lot of crashes and issues with my older laptop because you will be buying this for your coming four years in college and maybe your internship as well go for any of the remaining two operating systems mac os okay now coming to mac os well i have a really quick answer if you are not into gaming and the apps you use are compatible and you have the budget, go for a Mac. Like the overall build, performance, battery life and durability of this machine is simply superior than any Windows laptop for the same price range. And if you wish to buy a Mac then I have already made a video on this machine which you can check out on the top and in the description as well after watching this video. And also I have seen many YouTubers saying that oh Windows is much easier to use than a Mac. Yes it is true to some extent that Obviously, it's Windows which is taught in schools and it is the most used operating system in the industry. But as you will start using it, you will be able to work on it effortlessly. Linux. Now, hearing of Linux, most people will already believe that it's not for normal usage. But Linux operating systems nowadays are as good as Windows. Even the interface of some of its distributions or distros is very user friendly. Well, this is my previous laptop. It's four years old and it came with Windows 10 Pro pre-installed. But the issue is that it didn't even have an SSD. And because of that, Windows used to run really, really slow on this device. Then I installed Linux on it and the slowness simply disappeared. All the issues it had with Windows and all the softwares I used, especially the ones for coding, were working without any issue. And some of them were working even better than what they used to be on Windows. Okay, enough of talk. Now let's go to the best laptops for you as a college student according to your budget. You can find the list in the description box and in the first pinned comment as well. But before you rush to download that list, please read and take this quick overview about it. Most of you will also be eager about the discounts part as well. So here is the website through which you can get discounts on many other things, not just laptops. But since this video is about laptops for college, I'm going to show you the discounts on laptops. And this is not some fraud or spam kind of website. It is like completely legit. Big brands such as Apple and HP and Dell, these all use this website to verify students for their educational pricing. It's completely legit. I have tried it as well and you will not have any issue with it. This website is called Unidays. You can simply sign up on this website through your email. Just upload your college or university ID. Here's the website. You can get like tons of discounts over here. You have on Samsung up to 50% off, 20% off on Samsung laptops. 30% off on their smartphones. Like if I search for any brand, let's say HP, you can purchase directly from HP's website and you can get 30% discounts. Just click on activate discount and it will redirect you to the educational store and it's called back to campus sale on HP laptops. And similarly, you can try with some other brands as well, such as if I search for Dell, you can see we have multiple discounts over here. You have Apple discounts as well. And currently Apple is running this offer 
if you are purchasing it through educational discounts you can get free airpods and if i head over to my uni days page and now i am in the apple education store over here now if you go for the m1 chip macbook air then the price that you have for this variant is actually 99900 rupees but if you go with the educational discount you get 89900 rupees plus free airpods for your purchase so that is a good deal and overall if i just simply search for laptop then you can get 20% off on samsung laptops 5000 off on xps laptops 30% off on hp there are like so many discounts up to 15000 off on lenovo laptops like there are huge discounts which you can get that is for unity's website now going over to the list for the best laptops for you all here is the list this is the category from 30000 to 40000 the first three laptops these are like good machines if you are considering them for light workloads office work and just making some presentations in college some basic work will be done easily on these laptops even this fourth one can be used for the same purpose then you have a bit powerful machines this one is from 30 to 40000 i found only one great laptop while i was searching for it and then we have the category from 50 to 60000 rupees and there are two laptops this one is almost 60000 before i get ahead with the list like if you open any of these links i am opening this one the price that i have mentioned in the list is 55500 but if you will see then it is currently selling for 59900 and if i open this one for 32990 currently it's selling for 34499 so you can completely expect this thing because these prices on online marketplaces may vary if you are even buying from amazon or flipkart or any other online retail store you can find this difference over there from fifth onwards these are all gaming laptops each and every laptop which is called as a gaming laptop can also be used for intense workloads depending on the price category but not macbooks although with the new macbooks with apple silicon some games do run on them but if you are into some like serious gaming macbooks is simply not the way to go also make sure to look for laptops which have at least 5 hours of battery life there are many laptops which claim about 3 to 4 hours of battery life and you are like okay no what they is going to use for 3 to 4 hours in one go yes you are right but i am talking about the long term game over here if you are purchasing a laptop for your college life then there is a huge possibility that after first and second year your battery life will degrade if your laptop was working for let's say 3 to 4 hours in the first and second year in the third year for majority laptops especially in the windows domain are left only with a battery life of about half an hour to 1 hour and i have tried it on my older laptop this same thing happened with it and then i had to change the battery also i have added some tips over here at the end of this list as you can see this is something highly recommended if you are getting a better machine just by pushing your budget slightly then go for that machine because this is a machine which you will be using for your coming years in college and you don't want this to be an obstacle for performing anything like you want to learn something new you want to work upon something your laptop should not be the hindrance for you to achieve that thing and these are some other basic things try to go for metallic body instead of plastic as a programmer you will be staring on your screen working on your laptop for hours and hours every day so you need a good keyboard and a good screen to look upon i am not gonna spend too much time on it these are pretty basic things i have written it in the sheet only so you can go through them so that was it for this video i hope you guys liked it and if this video added some value to your life make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as well i'll see you guys in the next video radhe radhe